Well, as the crisis in Uttarakhand is now snowballing, sources are telling Times now that the centre's challenge before the higher bench is on the ground that the court can't pass an interim order interdicting the presidential proclamation. Ordering of the floor test has revived Article 174, that is working of the Assembly, which was placed under suspension. On the phone line with me is Aishwarya. Aishwarya, well, Aishwarya, in fact, is now joining me live. Uh, Aishwarya, give us a sense of how the centre really plans to question this, because the fact also is that this is a considerable legal uh, tangle, given uh, the fact that uh, the court gave these orders after the assembly was placed under suspension. But Constitutional crisis because of that very reason. That's why we are seeing none of that. But the Attorney General of the country going to Nenital High Court and is going to appeal in front of the divisional bench. What we are being told that it has already of it is going has already begun. So it is going to be taken up within the next few hours within in front of the divisional bench. But as far as the other strategy, the, the political strategy of the BJP and Congress is concerned, both of their parties have called in their central leadership here in Uttarakhand. From Congress, we are seeing leaders such as Ambika Soni and the others arriving here. And then from BJP, Sham Jaju and then Kailash Vijay Varge, because both of these parties do not want their flock to disintegrate at this very moment. Because if float test happens on the 31st, First, in that turn, they would want their MLAs to stay together, and that's why we are seeing both of their uh, senior leaders coming here in the state of Uttarakhand, because both of these parties understand that this is a very sensitive situation. They do not want uh, to take any kind of a risk, and uh, we are just going to go uh, to uh, Congress MLA, uh, Mr. Kapoor sir. You are uh, right here. I wanted to know that if there is a flow test, do you think you will win? Absolutely. Because the nine Congress rebel leaders वो भी वोट डाल सकते देखिए उनको वोट डालने के लिए कहा गया वोट काउंट ही नहीं होगा उनका उनका वोट अलग से सील होके माननीय उच्च न्यायालय के पास जाएगा उसके निर्णय के बाद ही उस पर कोई निर्णय आ पाएगा उनके वोट डाल पाए डाल वैलिड है या नहीं है